Good morning, folks. Lots to discuss today. We had space weather. We have more to monitor. We'll do astrophysics and climate science as well. And we are going to watch the last couple of days of the sun here, catch the burst off the south, the massive coronal hole complex which will hit us with solar wind on Friday, and several active regions. Let's begin with that burst off the south that luckily ejected purely southward as you can see here on Soho Lasco coronagraphs and it will miss Earth. But during the last couple days we just had off from the news, that previous CME did hit Earth. It was weak as expected but still produced a geomagnetic storm and lasting instability. Lots of you are asking if the Hoover Dam transformer explosion was related. Obviously no certainty can be had at this time but as many of you know and as I stated three days ago, Watch the electrical systems for transportation, communication, and energy generation. First and foremost, it's an excellent candidate for space weather effect. And we'll have to keep watching because we have several active regions growing at low latitude, and they could become flare makers today. We also know that we'll take that coronal hole stream at the end of the week, so all eyes are on the sun as there is clearly no question that the sunspot and eruptive activity is leading into the expected 5.9 month cycle peak over the next few weeks, which should last at least until the equinox, if not longer. Up first in the science news, they say they have found a stellar mass black hole nearby to our galaxy. How did they find it? Did they see it? Nope. Did they detect its x-rays? Nope. They found a star system with an apparent binary, but couldn't spot the binary. And since they couldn't see the binary they think is there, they say, must be a black hole. By the way, there was no nova event preceding the collapse, so it somehow would have done so without the fury. Veteran observers, try not to spit out your coffee on the keyboard while laughing. On to something legitimate, another new kind of nova. I know, they've discovered more new kinds of nova in the last four years than in the previous century. And this one is called a hyperburst. They say it's extremely rare and that it's on about a thousand year recurrence scale. Every thousand years it takes on enough material to go boom, about a twelfth of what it takes for the sun. Twelve thousand years since the last one. Wink. Up next, nature continued showing themselves to be a house of propaganda, wokeness, and bad science. Here they want to bring attention to the major issues in Sri Lanka. The country has essentially collapsed, and there's not one single word of blame on the climate policies that did it, including banning chemical fertilizers and restricting emissions and other necessary business aspects. Literally, these are the policies they want for the entire world, this is what happens, and nature shills all the way to the bank. Shameful. How about some real climate science to close? More detail on the equatorward traveling waves and how they produce strip-like plasma features. This is critical because until these scientists fully understand how the solar wind coupling near the polar region affects the entire atmosphere so quickly, they'll never attempt to investigate its effects on the global electric circuit or its effects on clouds, wind, lightning, and surface temperatures. Same way they discovered the aurora works to heat the atmosphere of Jupiter, now well known here on Earth. Just needs to get into the models. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.